Hi Wallabies, welcome to Community Living with your girl, my level. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. And if you're stopping back by and continuously supporting the channel, you know the jingle by now, so sing it with me. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So we're currently sitting on 774 subscribers. That road to 800 and road to 1000 is looking pretty good so please continue supporting the channel uh, continue commenting just leave a comment like seriously your comment will be very much appreciated give us feedback on what to improve how to improve it just um, comment on the subject matter what are you doing in your financial journey what are you doing with the subject matter you know so that will be very much appreciated guys so today I will be taking you through how do you deposit money in an easy equities account right so if you are already on the Easy Equities platform, you're probably like, uh, isn't that very easy? So the platform has been changing throughout the past year or so. So by now, if you were like on the platform like a year ago and you had to show someone how to do it, you probably won't be able to find it that easily. So it's not pretty obvious. And, and especially for people that I knew, it might be a bit hard to navigate on the platform and see where exactly you should be going. So that's what I'll be showing to you. I'm gonna just put up the screenshot there as I'm going through it, uh, but otherwise you're going to be seeing me in screen as well as on half of the screen. So I'm just gonna start the screen recording, right? So go to the app. So basically this um, episode is assuming that you are already registered, you've already signed up, you've already done your FICA registration and it's been approved so you can start trading or depositing money into an account so that you can be able to trade and invest on the platform, right? So if you haven't yet signed up, please uh, watch this video on how you can sign up and especially using a referral link that video addresses the use of a referral link because you get a free 50 bucks to start your investment journey and whoever referred you as well gets 50 bucks but not to use on uh, for buying stocks but uh, for easy money which is for transactions right so do check out that video to explain exactly how you go about doing that to log into the platform just press the easy equities app and then i'm gonna start just now so this is basically the home page when you go into the uh, easy equities platform this is the first thing that you're going to see you're going to see your portfolio and i think it's going to be slightly different um if you are new because there's some accounts that you have to add but i think the za account is a student account so it'll probably be there on your um, home page right so on the top right you have basically your profile and then on the um, top left right where you see the logo you also have a couple more of other things to that you can like navigate throughout and then at the bottom right there's also a tab that you can press in terms of like uh, to see your portfolio if you want to invest um, the watch list if you want to create a watch list and also notifications if you have any notifications within the app and the last one is the one that we're interested in so it's called my funds and that's the tab that we're going to be using to deposit the money into the um easy equities platform so i'm going to be using the app so it's going to be slightly different to the website obviously uh, but the logic will be more or less the same so we're gonna press on my funds as I've already mentioned and the very first thing that you see there is that it's on deposits already right so it's already pre-selected deposit so there are three type of um, transactions that you can do right you can either deposit you can transfer or you can withdraw so it's already selected deposit so what you do is which account are you trying to deposit in right depending on the account that you have i think um when you're relatively new the easy equity star account is there but you have to add the other accounts like your tfsa account your, your ra account if you want an ra um your usd account OD accounts, all those. Um, there was like OD. <laughs> it's not OD. It's all <laughs> the Australian um, account. There was like OD. There's nothing called OD. Then you select which account you want to um, deposit into. 
So my recommendation is that always deposit into the ZA account and then transfer the money to the other accounts, right? Uh, but for like a TFSA account, you can also deposit directly to a TFSA. It becomes a bit tricky when you start uh, depositing uh, money into accounts such as the USD account or Australian account because you use um, like a different like sort of banking details and all those things so just to keep track and also just to use like one thing for easy equities and not having to like keep track of like okay um am i trying to deposit into the australian one or the american one or the czar one um just always select the easy equities are from there you see three things again so three ways you can deposit money one it's the eft the second one is the credit card and the third one is the sid right so the easy equity is very thorough in terms of like explaining to you exactly what each type of uh, payment method entails so with the eft they tell you for one select which bank account you want to deposit in so they have uh, various bank accounts so for example we're just going to use APSA since it's already pre-populated or let's use a different account right and just see how you select that if you want to use the easy equity capital account because you know uh, if i'm using capital and i want to deposit to easy equities it will be best to use Capitec because it'll be almost instant payment because um, there isn't like a waiting period when you're depositing into a similar bank, not similar bank account, right? So I'll select Capitec. With Capitec, they're telling you how you can actually go into the app itself to do the whole transaction instead of actually using the Easy Equities platform. So but let's select another one. Uh, let's select NetBank for example. So you see with NetBank it gives you the different um, Banking details that you need it gives you um, Like the account name that you have to deposit in the account number as well as your easy equity reference number so this num this reference number is very much important because if you don't copy it properly or if you don't use this reference number and maybe you use uh, Malebun Kosi for example on your reference number it's going to be hard to allocate the funds into your account so for your reference you're going to use this given reference because that's what allocates money into your account so if you maybe make a mistake and use your name and surname and so forth you have to sort of contact them so that they can find they can use this easy equities reference number and then allocate money into your account right so we see how it works with NetBank, and it's just that easy you just copy to your bank right so this let's explore the second payment option which is the credit card when we go to the credit card we see that it asks you how much do you want to uh, invest right so let's just say for example we want to deposit um 2000 rands okay the way it's type 2000 rand 2000 rand into the account and it tells you that okay um the transaction fixed the fixed charge would be 160 and the deposit total will be 160 right that's the deposit total but again there is um a note down there down below it says that this method is immediate right fine we appreciate that it's immediate but they charge 2.3 percent of whatever amount that you want to deposit and they even give you an exam example of what they mean by that so for example if you want to deposit 10,000 rand they will charge 2.3 percent of 10,000 which is 230 so be careful of using the credit card payment method because any amount you want to deposit into that account 2.3 percent will be charged and an additional 1.6 um the 1.6 rains right will also uh be charged in addition to um this type of payment method right so basically you will um, provide your credit card details and then say proceed and say deposit into easy equities account if you want to use that but be aware of the additional charges whereas when you're using eft you don't get charged at all right and then the sid method sometimes it takes quite some time um 
to load okay so same similar to the credit card one it asks you for how much money you want to deposit so let's just say we want to deposit 10,000 rand into the account it also has a similar fixed charge as the credit card one which is 160 and again there's a note there to say that uh, this method is immediate appreciate it but you will also pay 1.5 percent of the total value of the transaction and a flat fee of 160 for the um, convenience right so with the sid you can also say uh, proceed right but one other thing that you need to note with the sid um, payment method is that you would need to log into um, your internet banking profile basically so if you don't have an internet banking profile it'll be a mission to use this so for all three of them um, they are using sort of like an internet banking profile because for you to use EFT you'd have to have an app or you have to use internet banking but if you're going straight into like um, your bank and depositing this there's a matter of just writing it down and copying it down uh, for the teller to process it as well right so it's similar to that and you'll get charged deposit fees so you don't want to use the traditional depositing um, route where you go to your bank so for example here with the SID let's just select uh, standard bank and I don't have an account with standard bank uh, but this is just to see so it's saying fet fetching banking uh, like the bank details then from there you will have to log in uh, into your standard bank internet banking profile as I've already mentioned which I feel like the SID method is very redundant and on top of that they they will actually charge you an additional 1.5 percent and 160 whereas when you EFT you don't get charged anything so do not use this method I don't understand the reason why you would use this method if there are other banks that you can deposit into like if you want to use standard bank they already have a standard bank account that you can deposit into and it will be an immediate payment regardless of what time of the day it will be because when you're um, depositing into the same bank when you're EFTing sorry when you send an EFT to the same uh, account or same bank you get um, the, the transaction being processed immediately right so those are the three ways that you can actually pay or deposit money into your Easy Equities account. If you have any further questions regarding what has been mentioned or if you still don't have a clue as to um, how to go about it, please comment down below. But I think this is very straightforward and I did explain in, to, in depth in terms of how um, each payment method differs and where exactly on the platform you get it, right? So I'm not going to go into the other accounts. Uh, I'm just going to like I'm not going to go into details in terms of the other account. I'm just going to quickly show you how you deposit into the other accounts. So we're going to go back. So if you want to deposit into to, into the TFSA, um, same thing, EFT credit card or SID, you can just copy your Easy Equities uh, reference number for the EFT. Choose the bank. It's very similar to. Uh, the ZA account and then for the Easy Equity RA, the only type of um, option or payment option they have is the EFT or the depositing uh, to, via the bank route, right? And then when you go to Easy Equity USD, it's slightly different. You use what they call Easy FX, and um, we know that FX stands for foreign exchange because obviously they have to. Um, exchange your money from um, the ZAR uh, currency to the USD currency, right? So they explain everything there as to how it works and also give you the details that you're supposed to use, right? And the, the EZT reference number will always be the same throughout all these different accounts that you can be depositing and throughout all these different ways of uh, depositing money into these um, these um, accounts right so that is basically it easy equity AUD works the same 
you use easy fx because also you're transferring from the south to the australian dollar thank you very much guys for tuning in i really hope you've learned something start depositing start seeing your money grow take advantage of the stock market there is so many ways to win in the stock market but be careful it's not gambling it's investing so take care of your money as people have been saying do your own research find out how you can win on the stock market don't just take my word the other person's word for it and then run with that right there's money to be made but there's also money to be lost so be careful and thank you very much i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and you have a lovely week be wonderful